Okay, how we doing everybody? So here it is. Oh my god. He's always oh, talking about snipers. What's he doing? He's gone mad. Oh, that's it. That's that's the end of his channel. Oh, we can't believe it. Last time we did this in Black Ops 2, it was a big mistake. And he will learn the hard way. Well, no, look, I want to get a kind of discussion going. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because, you know, sometimes you feel like, is it just me that thinks this? Is it just me? It's like the whole, in the last commentary, well, it's kind of commentary. I don't know what kind of a video you would call that, where I was talking about the Benny Hill legs on the character movement. You know, it was nice to see people go, oh, I get that. You know, I understand that. I, I, I thought that as well. Bloody hell. I'm glad you said that. So it's a good thing to get it out there it's like sharing is caring sharing is caring now call of duty world war ii quick scoping what happened there what happened with this thing where did it come from it was like it went away for three years and and they said oh you know it, it's causing a lot of upset people aren't happy about this it, it, we need to do something about it and slowly but surely they they weaned it out they got rid of it they fizzled it away and now all of a sudden it's come back with a bang and everybody's just shocked and like bloody hell i don't know how to deal with this it's like imagine a imagine a drinking establishment a pub or a bar and there's a guy in there who drinks in there called les big les big les the nightmare and he, he drinks lots and he gets physically abusive. He's a massive guy. He gets abusive and picks up chairs and smashes them over people's heads. And the manager's too scared to get rid of him because he doesn't want to feel the wrath of Les. And he knows that if he doesn't serve him free drinks, he'll beat him up and he'll sleep with his wife. And he still sweets off children and he just bullies old age pensioners and kicks them out of their seats and stays in the table for 10 on his own drinking and nobody will sit with him that's les and you know everybody's like we gotta get rid of les man this is a nightmare of a place everybody's really unhappy sick of getting complaints about les big les needs to go so slowly but surely they start weaning him out they start watering the beer down the manager's wife starts staying at home so he can't get aroused by her and children stop going in there so he's got no sweets and old age pensioners start standing up and eating their meals instead of taking a seat so he can't bully anybody and he's frustrated and you know eventually they get rid of him and he goes he walks out i'm leaving this place this is no good i can't cause any mayhem had enough and he goes and that's it it's gone for three years amazing everybody starts relaxing back in and oh is it oh he's not back oh okay, i like this i like where this is going this feels a lot better it feels a lot more relaxed i'm, I'm comfortable brilliant three years pass bosh in comes les straight through flat foots the door off the hinges it goes flying across the bar wood chip everywhere les is back and he's got three years of pain to bring to everybody that's what sniping's done it's come back les is back and he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Now, <laughs> I don't know where that comparison came from, but there you go. Now, my problem with the sniping is that the hitboxes, I, I don't know whether... Did Fisticuffs used to call them the black box around the character? If you imagine you've got a character, you look at him, some guy standing staring at you. Around him, there's a kind of black box type thing, which I would imagine is where the, the point on the box you can hit that would count as a hit on the person. For me, whenever I watch kill cams, and I wanted to talk about this whole kill cam lag thing theory that I hate, it makes me so angry when I hear this. But for me, when I watch the bronze honours at the end, and it's like somebody's got the most pathetic two piece that's nowhere near as good as your five piece you just got during the game, but some guy gets a uh, you know a split two piece, and it's like, wow, that was awesome. How wake me up when that one's over kind of thing um but you know you're watching it and it's like slows it up it's like do 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 and every time the crosshair kind of thing is on the player that's the only time that you see that red cross come up that red mark pew, pew, pew. that's when it's hitting him and that's when he's on the brink of death and eventually one two three four dies so that to me looks at a, a realistic kill cam. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen the kill cam. I've seen the bronze honours. I respect what I've just saw. That looks legit to me. 100% legit. I'm happy with this. Let's move on to the next game. Which with the sniping, don't you find that the hitboxes for the sniper seem... I, w I will just show you a, a, a list of ones that I've caught and recorded and thought, that doesn't look right to me. And I'll slow them down and I'll put them to the point of where it actually hit. And, uh, you know, I seen this video back in Call of Duty Ghost. There was a guy talking about kill cam lag. 
and he was defending snipers saying, you know, you guys, you watch the kill cams and you complain saying, oh, the crosshair was nowhere near the person. What happened there? And it's what it is, it's kill cam lag. It's a thing called kill cam lag and it happens with snipers. And you're like, what kind of a, a, a scapegoat is that? What kind of an excuse is that? That's like, oh yeah, but it doesn't happen with some machine guns. It only happens with sniper rifles. Well, really? You know, and after this many years, it's still happening. Do they just kind of keep it there so that they want to raise the question about it? So they want people to say, oh, that was rubbish. Like me, I need to talk about this. I need to get this point out there. And it's still, I don't know, creating subject matter for the game. Or is it just, it's just broken and there's nothing they can do to fix it. I don't know. But that's my own thing that I've found. A lot of these shots I've seen, a lot of these final kill comes. You generally look and it's like, and this is where I think they can balance the snipers out because I respect and I understand that with a sniper rifle, the, the bullets have to be so powerful that if they enter the torso, they go vertical and then bounce around a little bit inside the body and, and you know, exit wound outside the face. I get that. I get that's what they're supposed to do. That's what they're programmed to do. They're horrible things. And I would imagine if you get shot by one, you probably are dead. So I respect that. But it needs to be balanced out a little bit to kind of fit in with the general flow of the game. So, uh, obviously, if the hitboxes are too big, reduce the hitboxes to an element so that it's not as easy to quickscope. Yes, you can do it. Yes, it is there. But you have to have an element of skill. My other issue is, and I think this is where sniping is very easy, is the stability and the lack of view kick on the guns, on the sniper rifles. I think the stability... How many times have you ever just come out of a corner or just come behind... I don't know, a, a lorry or something, and you're boom, you're dead. And you think, how did that happen? How did you know I was there? Surely your reactions are not that quick. And then you watch the kill come, and it's like, he was just aiming a nut. The scope wasn't moving. It was in one place. It was just locked onto that position, waiting for me to pop my head out for however long. So there's no kind of idle sway there. There's not enough idle sway. Think of Black Ops. I used to love sniping in Black Ops. I used to love quickscoping because it was the hardest game to quickscope on ever because the sniper rifles were so underwhelming and underpowered. However, quickscoping became satisfying because it was such a hard thing to do. And, you know, you had to deal with idle sway. You couldn't look down sight. If you held your breath, you held it there for so long and you run out of breath, it was like, ah, and your gun was up and down and it was hard to control. It doesn't feel like that with me. And most of these snipers as well seem to not run primed. They run scoped or, ri is it rifleman? I can't remember. Um, and I run primed. I have to run primed on everything because I can't stand view kick. Yeah, I'm in a one-on-one -on -one with these, and I'm pumping, 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 pumping. Every 35 bullets in my gun is going anywhere towards him because he's moving from left to right, and he's quick-scoping me. And there's no flinch. They're just on point every time. Again, watch the kill come back. There's no, you know, view kick. I'm just going to put it out there. I might talk about this in another video, about how the perks just don't really work, some of them. But Primed is a major problem. Prime needs a massive punch of something strong put in its drink because... I might as well not use it sometimes, you know. I've noticed I've put something else on. It's felt just as beneficial. But um, I digress. Apologies as I just went off on a tangent about something completely different to the uh, to the matter at hand. So, yeah, that's that's how I think they can fix this. I think they can reduce the hitboxes down just a, a teeny tiny amount and also add some idle swell on there. I get that they're supposed... I get that they're meant to... Um, I get the bullets are meant to kill you almost instantaneously. Maybe not a leg shot, but anything torso and above. Yeah, I respect that. I, I can understand that. Or, you know, reduce the ADS time. They seem to always pick on... This is a, tr a sledgehammer thing. They always do this. They seem to pick on the favourite assault rifles. Oh, everyone's using the bar. That's not acceptable. Let's reduce the bar down. What else? What else can we pick on? Just reduce it down just a touch. Just make it a bit more of a challenge. Because, as I say, anybody can do it. If you put your mind and your heart and your soul into it enough and spend enough time practising, you will become a kind of proficient quick scoper, and then you can join in the the fraternity of trolls that are snipers. So, you know, it's kind of like a two-way thing. Yes, it's always bothered me, and this time it's bothering me a lot, but for goodness sake, if you seem to be okay at this, then you will just dominate the game. And it's like, most of us know how to use a submachine gun, but it doesn't mean that just because we've done it for so long, we should become like gods. So yeah, leave your uh, feedback on this, and um, I will see you on the next one.